Hello everyone. Uh, today I want to talk about another indicator called Stochastic Momentum Index Indicator. Uh, I'm using ETAR report chart today and we are looking at Euro uh, US dollar. Um, we set the time frame to five minutes. Uh, this indicator is very good for day trading so uh, you may wish to use other time frames but I uh, prefer smaller time frames uh, like 5, 10, 15 and uh, stochastic momentum index you know um, personally I am a long time trader so I normally use daily and four hour charts mostly daily uh, but anyway, because this uh, indicator works better on smaller time frames, and it now it's known as you know being the um, day traders in the uh, indicator. Uh, we are using the right setup for this one, which is the smaller time frames. So I'm using five minutes. Let me just add it to the chart. We go to study two. And we can find it here, it's the classic momentum index. You have, uh, you know, periods, smoothing periods and double smoothing periods, you know. Uh, so, you know, these uh, preset numbers, I'm not gonna change it, I just leave it. And you may change those and, you know, do the back test to see which one is better for your uh, asset, which you're trading or even the overbought and oversold uh, area, you can change. Um, I just change the uh, color maybe a bit to make it, or maybe blue for this one, okay. Um, so yeah, create. As you can see, oversold, I uh, change it to green and overbought, we change to blue color. Uh, I didn't choose green because we have one green line and you know I want uh, it's a bit uh, stands out and we can have a we can look at it properly okay um, personally I don't like it or charts anyway uh, but because I'm a popular investor on it so I'm using this you know if you use this one at the moment, if you press setting, nothing happens. You can change this from here. So you have to close it and again, open with the new settings anyway. Uh, the, this indicator uh, can be used for many purposes. It shows you over both, like here, you can see over both and also over sold. Uh, uh, areas so uh, so you can you can use this uh, to identify potential overbought and oversold to enter the uh, new uh, trade also uh, momentum uh, you know you can use the stochastic uh, momentum indicator it's its name so can you be used with volume indicator to show how much buying or selling pressure or momentum uh, is at the moment in the market. Trend also, uh, you can use these to uh, just uh, recognize the trend. Uh, when you see more and more oversold, you can say that uh, we are in downtrend comparing to the overboard and when you see more and more uh, overboard that's the indication of uh, an uptrend like here you can see uptrend and we have more overboard and here we are in downtrend so we have more oversold um, and it gives you also the uh, trading signal which is the important thing that you are looking so what trading signals you should uh, take seriously? The ones that 
are in the overbought and oversold uh, territory. So let me just uh, add some vertical lines where the two lines cross each other and we are also in one of the overbought and oversold areas. Okay, so first one will be here. Then uh, I have this, I should do this every time, but anyway, we're using this platform and uh, it has its cons and pros anyway. So I'm adding another vertical here, and this is very close to where so I'm going to take it as well. Uh, another one, we go here. Here you might just use your judgment, you say, I see we are over both and I'm not going to close it. But we set the rule and we say, if it cross, then uh, that's the best location to close okay so um, one more here which is the false one between these two anyway then we go here again and nothing more for now um, let me add one more before this as well let's see how it works here Okay, so looking at this, and we are doing day trading. This is um, all in one day, uh, up to here, then another day starts. So as you can see, that's the reason why I'm saying this is good for day traders, because they can just open a trade and close it in the same day, on or maximum, you know, the next day. So, um, imagine here we are in overbought, overbought situation, then we uh, can see that two lines crossing each other and gives us the sell signal. So we selling here and we exit the trade here. Perfect. You can see that. Um, very nice uh, profit from roughly one uh, eight nine six. It comes down to one eight seven six. So twenty pips, uh, twenty big, uh, big pips, which is not bad. Then uh, we go another right here buy here and it keeps going keeps going keeps going until we sell it here if you watched my uh, previous videos you you know that I never go against the trend and I always you know just dismiss the other ones if it's in uptrend I just trend uh, I just open long and if uh, we are in downtrend I just open short but using uh, this indicator because this is a day trade uh, trading indicator as well uh, we can go uh, sh short and long you know just uh, one after another anyway uh, as you can see nice one nice one then you just follow your uh, strategy and you again here after you close the line you open another short this one is not that uh, perfect anyway so maybe few uh, uh, pips and because you're sitting in front of the computer you won't miss maybe one candle but you won't miss the exit so you're still good and again we are going to buy here and exit here. Uh, then, when you exit here, you if you go sell here, then this will be the uh, uh, you know false 
signal so you losing on this one so you had one two three four winning trades then this one is your losing trade because you uh, it was a very nice bullish and you could have stayed in the bullish uh, run but you close here and you just opened another uh, short which goes north uh, against what you predicted then again um, so you um, see another short here then you um, go short here and you close it here so as you can see yeah uh, the ROI on this very is very high so return on investment and you know the number of the uh, good signals is significant in uh, compared to the you know false signals so this is how you uh, can use stochastic momentum indicator i'm not going to talk about the you know uh, technicality and formula and how you calculate those ones and what are those lines you know uh, lots of uh, information if you go on the uh, internet you can find about uh, those formula and uh, i think it's uh, useless now if we want to talk about you just want to know how to use the indicator and this is how i use and i how i set up anyway i used to do day trading now i'm not a day trader anymore because you know the uh, amount of stress uh, on day trading is too much for me uh, to handle sometimes so um, i'm just a line trader at the moment i go with the uh, bigger time frames like daily and four hours as i said uh happen uh, have a, um, a nice trading in front of you for the next week uh, this is our tutorial for this weekend and i hope you learned something and you can um, just have many profitable uh, days in front of you have a nice day uh, see you later